everybody and welcome back to a new video by Drag. This video is a MIT App Inventor tutorial video in which I am going to show how to make an offline ID card generator. Watch till the end and timestamps are below. Feel free to skip to any section if wanted. Let's begin making this app. The first step is, as usual, we need to log in into our MIT App Inventor account. After logging in, create a new project named as ID Card App. After your project is loaded, we need to change the horizontal alignment to center and then make the screen to scrollable and make the title visible to off. Then we drag out a label onto our main screen and change the font size to about 35. Add the label text to ID card generator. If the font is exceeding your phone, then you can make it to 30. Then you can make in some modifications like changing the font to bold, making the font typeface to self and changing the text alignment to center. Next, we drag out another label just for spacing. From layout, we drag out a table arrangement in which we should have eight rows and two columns. That's it. After doing those things, you have to drag out a label onto your first column of the table arrangement. Change the font size to 20 and make it bold. Then change the text from text for label 3 to enter name with a colon in the front. After this, drag out the text box. Here, change the hint. Change the font size to 20. And this is done for now. Now you need to repeat the same thing. After you are done repeating the same process 8 times, you have to go to layout and drag out a vertical arrangement onto the screen. Then drag the table arrangement inside it. Go to the vertical arrangement properties and change the horizontal alignment to center and even the vertical alignment to center. Then you can change the background color. Now we can move further. Go to user interface and drag out image onto the vertical arrangement. The height should be 50 pixels. Whereas the width should also be 50 pixels. Drag out a button below the image and then change its font size to 20. Change the shape to rounded and change the background color to red. Change the text color to white. Then change the button text to click a picture. Set it to bold. Change the font. After that, drag out another button below the table arrangement. Again, do the same things you did for the click a picture button. Just rename the text instead of click a picture to generate ID card. After you are done renaming the generate ID card button, you have to drag out another vertical arrangement from the layout section. Then you need to copy this table arrangement and paste it. Then change the background color to cyan and drag out an image from user interface onto vertical arrangement number 2. Make its height and width to 50 pixels. Then change the horizontal and vertical alignment to center of the vertical arrangement number 2 and then drag out 
and other button and do the same thing as we did for this button. Only change the text to edit ID card. After modifying the edit ID card button, you have to replace all these text boxes with labels. I am done with replacing all the text boxes with labels. Since this video was becoming too long, I decided to divide it into two parts. The first part is what we did today, the designing of the app. And tomorrow, I will show you the code of the app. So stay tuned for that video I do watch it. Subscribe, like, share and even comment what you want in the next video. <laughs> Oh,